Hi, this is Jerry Job, and this is another tutorial on iPhoneography apps. In this case, we're going to be talking about colorizing black and white images. This image is my mother, taken about 1950 or 1951. I scanned the image in. I removed blemishes, the gouges in the paper, the folds in the paper, etc., uh, through the use of an app called Touch Retouch. And then I've taken it into iColorama to do the coloring. This can also be done in apps like Leonardo or, I, uh, or Photoshop Touch that allow you to mask in certain areas and colorize them. And that's just what we're going to be doing here. You have to mask in the area that will take a certain color. The hair, the skin, the shirt that my mother is wearing. You mask that area in, and then you apply a color through preset gradient in color blend mode in order to uh, have that area colorized. So let's start with the hair. I'm going to zoom in on her hair. And I'm going to use a brush mask to mask in the area that I want to be colorized. If I do preset gradient, then I'm going to see that the white applies over everything. I want to invert the mask and paint in the mask, paint in the white gradient over my mother's hair. So it's a matter of going through and painting through this area that right up to the hairline all around and making sure that I fill in as well. Well that white blob is not very attractive but that's the first step we need to do, is mask in the area. Then we need to change the color. I can change the color to a nice brown. And then change the color, bl the blend mode from normal to color. It is normal right now. You can see the blue normal button is lit up. I want to touch the color button. And it applies the color to the underlying image. It takes the luminosity, the lightness and darkness of the underlying image, and only applies the color from the top. You can see that it's not very saturated color, but if I really want to make it obnoxious, I can uh, change the saturation. What I can't do is change the lightness and darkness by changing the color. Even though the color may be very dark, here it's almost black, that's not much different than up here where the color is light. So I'm going to apply that color and rather than mask in, uh, spend the time masking in the hair, I've already created a mask, exported a mask for just the hair and I'm going to import that mask now. If I zoom back out, you'll see that it's now applied to all of the hair. At this point, to me, it's still a little too yellow. So I'm going to change it to be a little bit redder. I'm a little less saturated. And then I'm even going to take the opacity down just a little bit. To give a natural hair color. I apply that. Now it's just a matter of going through and doing the same thing for each of the other areas that I want to colorize. So let's um, go to my mask, import a mask that just deals with her shirt, do a preset gradient, let's turn off the brush mask so we can see, it just deals with her shirt right there. I'm going to change it to a color blend mode and I'm going to change the color to a nice uh, deal here. That's probably pretty good. The color that I would use for her face is very close to the one that I would use for her hair, but it might be actually even a little redder. You'll notice that the mask I've created actually covers up her eyes. That's because her eyes are closed. I am not needing to assign a different color like I will to the lips. Uh, gums and teeth. Uh, I'll change the color and change it to color blend mode. 
That's still a little bit too yellow. We'll take it towards the red a little bit more. And then we can take down the opacity. Next up is the lips, which we can make a nice bright red. Because that's the way the lipstick was back then. Reset gradient. Change it to a nice red. Change it to color blend mode. And bring back the opacity back just a tad. The gums should not be as red. Got a mask here for the gums. We change it and we change it to color blend mode. Zoom in on it again. That's pretty good. The teeth would not remain white. That's unnatural, especially in an older photo like this. So I'm going to add just a touch of yellow to it. Import our mask for our teeth. The one for the teeth is right next to the one for the lips. There we go. Do a preset gradient. Take it to a yellow. Just add just slight bit of yellow there. Change it to color blend mode. Take the opacity all the way down to nothing and then just add a little bit of it back in. The last thing I want to do here I don't have a mask for and that's just add color on top of color. I want to add some rouge to her uh, cheeks. I'm going to remove my mask. I'm going to invert it so that I'm painting in my color. Do a preset gradient of red. I'm going to go up here to her cheek and I'm going to apply rouge along her cheekbone and down into the hollow of her cheek. I'm going to change it to color blend mode and I'm going to take the opacity all the way down and then bring in just a hint of color to her cheeks. If I zoom out then I can fine tune it to where it's just right there about where I want it. I apply that. So that's colorized my mother right there. Um, I'm going to do one more thing and that's change the background all at once. I could go in and mask the brick of the house, the blue sky, the green branches or green grass, etc. But that's a lot of tedious masking work that I don't really want to do. So I'm just going to treat the background all the same. I've masked out my mother and I'm going to be working on the background. I can assign colors like this with colors 4. Improve the brightness or darkness or the contrast. You can apply that. One last thing that I want to do is under the noise category there's one setting preset down here, number 22, that ends up, when you put it in multiply mode and take down the opacity, it looks like you folded the background paper, increased it. I'm going to increase the size of those squares. And there we've got it. We've colorized an image a black and white image using masking and the color blend mode under preset gradient. I hope that's been valuable to you. Until next time, enjoy.